After their arrest, Winston and Julia are sent to the torture chambers to be re-educated. The party no. seeks power no. entirely for its own sake. We are not interested in the good of others. We are interested solely in power. Not wealth or luxury or long life or happiness, only power. Pure power. What pure power means, you will understand presently. <laughs> no! Julia submits immediately to the torturer's demands, but Winston holds out. Shall I tell you In the torture chambers of the Ministry of Love, they do not seek the truth. They seek converts. To cure you. Will you understand? Winston, that no one whom we bring to this place ever leaves our hands uncured. Do you understand what I mean by that? Uh, 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 yeah, yes, 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 yes. The final chapters in 1984 have become a permanent part of our cultural memory. Stand up straighter. In the movie, Richard Burton, me in his in last face. screen role before he died, played O'Brien, the inner party chief. Tell me, Winston, and remember, no lies. What are your true feelings towards Big Brother? I hate him. You must love him. It's not enough to obey him. You must love him. Room 101. He orders Winston to the subterranean room 101 in the Ministry of Love, where individual tortures are custom made to present each victim with his greatest fear. For Winston, it was rats. I press the first lever and the rats move into the front compartment. I press the second, and the door of the cage must slide up. What do you, what do you want? You want... Oh. Oh. Ah. As the starved rats move closer to Winston's face, he begins to hallucinate that Julia is just beyond the cage. He holds his love for her, guarded in the deepest recess of his heart. But even those feelings, he will eventually betray. Do it to Julia! Do it to Julia! Beastly. According to his mother, Orwell's first word was beastly, which is unusual language for a two-year-old. Towards the end of his life, Orwell became increasingly concerned that the English language was being treated in a beastly manner. Items one, comma, five, comma, seven, ref, four, wise, stop. In the book, some of Orwell's blackest humour is aimed at what he thought to be the debasement of language. From mindless clichés and deceptive euphemisms to acronyms that dehumanise and intimidate. <laughs> Reference to BDR and Martin slash Kelly, she terminated at 306 but wanted a TTC on a Every year, fewer and fewer words, and the range of consciousness always a little smaller. The whole climate of thought will be different. In fact, there will be no thought as we understand it now. Orthodoxy means not thinking, not needing to think. Orthodoxy is unconsciousness. Orwell's disgust with the decline of language and literature was a constant theme in 1984. 
in the Ministry of Truth, mechanical authoring machines automatically churned out cheap pornographic fiction. A machine intelligent enough to write would have seemed a remote science fiction fantasy in 1949, but Orwell was on the right track. It doesn't matter. Feeding egos ain't no claim on our souls. Digital machines don't write pornography yet. However, there is a software program that will generate random poetry of sorts. Tap the haiku button and it mimics the Japanese style. The software was written by Ray Kurzweil. Silent hands, places with manuscripts, looking for the sun. And every day, such programs become more powerful. In Orwell's time, the powers that be operated from deep inside faceless buildings. But at least they were human. times faster than nerves inside our brains. However, human intelligence is much deeper, richer, and capable of dealing with far greater subtlety than machines today. So once a computer can achieve the depth and subtlety and richness of human intelligence and combine it with these natural advantages of sharing knowledge, speed, and accuracy, it's going to be a very formidable combination. And formidable competition as well for our children and our grandchildren a truly Orwellian future, if ever there was. If we just look at a situation where it's intelligent machines and humans, then I, I can't see humans sort of standing up to that. It would mean that maybe by the end of this century, intelligent machines are running the show and humans are slaves or human farms and human zoos, nothing more. Toy robots, built by computer students. The sort of toys we often see when the subject is robots. In the future, they won't be toys. They might be us, the result of miniaturization. Entire computer chips as small as diamond dust circulating in our bloodstream. Professor Warwick has taken a step in that direction. He has had a chip implanted in his arm. It is one of the first primitive direct connections between a nervous system and a machine. Later, his wife, Irena, will have a chip slipped under her skin. As the technology evolves, the implants could lead to a direct connection, brain to brain. So it's looking at the electronic signals that are our thoughts being transferred between people, a bit like telepathy, but for real, technically. Or will the brain not be able to cope? Um, we simply don't know. We simply may not want to know. Party members honor the glorious Ings. The idea of humans hardwired into a vast network fits the sort of bleak future that Orwell seemed particularly concerned about when writing 1984. Perhaps Orwell was right in a roundabout way, and that's what we will end up with. The humans that are connected um, won't just be connected human to one intelligent machine as a standalone will be a human connected into a network they will be able to harness the power of that network but the network will be able to um, control perhaps the power of the human big brother of a human nature is now big brother of an internet nature after the final terror in room 101 Winston Smith is released. He has been hollowed out. He gazed up at the enormous face. Oh, cruel, needless misunderstanding. But it was all right. Everything was all right. The struggle was finished. He had won the victory over himself. He loved Big Brother.